and welcome to the Rangers News YouTube channel. My name is Cameron Willis and in this video I am going to look at the six Rangers first teamers who have been linked with a move away from Ibrox this January. Now, obviously Steven Gerrard has been pretty clear that none of his main men are for sale, but that hasn't stopped plenty of links cropping up in the press. So, Whilst it's very unlikely any of these names might leave the club this month, if you indulge me for a few moments, it gives me the opportunity to sing the praises of some of the club's top performers. Because, if we're being honest, there is no way these players would be linked with the kind of names that are outlined in this video if they weren't performing at the best of their ability. But before I begin, eh, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed, watched, viewed the channel. Over the course of the last 7-10 to 10 days, particularly as we have stepped things up. Um, obviously, if you haven't liked or subscribed, do so now. And uh, the reason for that, uh, the reason why we're asking for that is pretty simple. Um, obviously, we run a very busy website over at Rangers News. But the more likes, the more views, the more engagements, the more comments and the more involved Rangers fans get, the more time that we'll be able to spend on the channel and ultimately making content which is entertaining for Rangers fans. So yeah, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so now and thank you very much. So without further ado, here are the six Rangers first teamers who have been linked with a move away and why I personally think none of them um, should be leaving the club this January. Where better to start than Rangers form player of the season? We are talking about none other than our captain fantastic James Tavenier. Now, James Tavenier at the time of recording has been on relentless form and is the clear front runner for both the club's player of the year and the Scottish Premiership player of the year. He has 17 goals, 14 assists um, and he is a right back. He's, he's the heartbeat of the Rangers side and uh, yeah he's, he's a relentless kind of presence down that right hand side he sets the tone for the team he leads by example and uh, we've seen him take a huge step in his development uh, already this season at the age of 29 some might be thinking that Tavernier's flirting with the idea of returning down south uh, previously he's been linked to the likes of West Brom and, and Newcastle but this time around um, he's been linked to the likes of Newcastle uh, sorry Everton and Tottenham Hotspur which which shows um, the attention that Tavernier's grabbing um, with his performances. Now the goals might have tailed off as of late but perhaps that's more down to opposition sides sizing up how Rangers play and trying to put the shackles um, on our uh, captain. Rangers captain James Tavernier is the longest continuous serving player at the club. Um, he is now in his sixth season at Ibrox after joining from Wigan Athletic for a reported 250k back in 2015 when Mark Warburton was manager, I don't know if you remember, he signed uh, alongside Martin Waghorn, but Tavernier has remained whilst Waghorn has left and he's emerged as probably one of the focal points of this side and it's pretty incredible how he right back can have so much influence, uh, can, can be a driving force for the team and, and set the tone for the team. Uh, a huge player and, and far from seeing Tavernier leave the club, uh, I think Rangers should be trying to sign him up on a longer term deal. The next player on the list is another English um, defender who has taken his game to another level this season. I'm talking about Rangers commander-in-chief Conor Goldson. Now, with behind closed doors um, matches, I think Conor Goldson's role in the team has become much, much clearer because um, you can hear him shouting in just about every kind of highlight reel, but he is the voice, he is the organiser, and so much of Rangers' good defensive work this season has to go down to Conor Goldson, who has not missed a minute of football for the club, which just shows you the immense commitment, the robustness, the, the dedication and the determination in Goldson, and, and I think that threads throughout the entire team. Now, there have been murmurs of a move without any outright reports. I think one rumour um, about Sheffield Wednesday in the Championship was laughed off by a journalist down there, but um, there's little doubt that Conor Goldson is one of our biggest assets, and without him, we would be a considerably weaker team. Um, it's not just defensively where Conor Goldson has shown this season. Um, we've seen him use his head in the box, um, famously twice 
uh, he scored against Celtic once with his head and another one um, from a set piece um, as he kind of tapped it in uh, but we've also seen him uh, produce these raking long diagonal balls he's big 40 yard passes over the top which has been so effective it's been um, a kind of fixture um, of our game and, and, a, and a big part of how we play so yeah it's not just defensively that we'd miss Conor Goldson it's offensively as well because he's, he's regularly got the ball of his, at his feet and he's regularly involved in everything good that we do like James Tavernier he's another that I I personally would like to see Rangers sign up on a new deal his contract expires at the end of next season um, he's been so big for us that I think he'd be now and impossible to replace he's, he's a giant of a man he's he's that big Rangers centre half that we've traditionally had with a modern twist um, for me me, he's the best centre back in Scotland by a country mile, and um, I think that if we let him slip through our fingers, um, we'd love to regret it. But a huge part of our team, alongside James Tavernier, a leader in the squad, and yes, um, he won't be going anywhere in January, and long may he stay at Ibrox. The next player to be linked away with the high profile move is another Rangers defender which maybe sums up how good the defence has been this season but I don't know if it's exactly fair to call this guy a defender, certainly not an outright one but I'm talking about none other than Croatian international fullback Borna Barisic. Now if you cast your mind back to when Rangers signed Borna Barisic he was obviously a standout performer for an NK Osijek at Europa League and when he joined Rangers he struggled to kind of settle um, before that kind of free kick goal against St Mirren catapulted him um, and, and, and forwarded his career at Ibrox now in that match if you remember um, or in that, that series of matches Barisic was actually the Osijek captain um, which shows you the leadership um, that Rangers now have at the club because this guy um, was the driving force for that team and, and down that left hand side he's, he's the kind of driving force for us he like Tavernier um, they, co they complement each other so well but like Tavernier um, Barisic has got a wicked delivery um, with his left foot it provides unbelievable balance throughout the team um, when you've got both of them kind of bombing down both wings but um, he's got uh, he's, he's an amazing dead ball specialist he's, he's a player of real real quality and uh, I think he's one of Rangers' biggest assets. Now, Tottenham are a name which was loosely linked. Um, I think one of the best announcements from last season was the news that Barisic was signing a new contract. Um, AS Roma and Napoli were two teams that were said to be sniffing around him then. But the thing is, I think Barisic falls into the category of one of those players who Rangers might be forced to kind of cash in on in line with the business model that was repeated at the most recent AGM. And Rangers are obviously about buying low and selling high and I think Barisic, who should be the starter for Croatia um, at this year's uh, Euros, might be one of the first names to kind of uh, become an example of that. Now, I'm not saying that I want Bonobarisic to leave because I love the guy and I'd love him to be at Rangers for the kind of foreseeable, but he is that good a player that there is interest aplenty and uh, I can't see him leaving in January um, just because he wants to get it over the line, but maybe the summer or, or, or maybe not long after that, but um, let's enjoy him whilst we have him because uh, Barisic is a top player and uh, yet again this season he, he as well has taken a, a step in his development as Rangers have been relentless at home and abroad. So the next player is perhaps Rangers most improved this season um, and that's saying something considering how impressive he had been previously and I'm talking about Glenn Kamara. Now previously we'd seen a lot of, of how good this guy was um, at, at retaining the ball, winning it in midfield, becoming a, a kind of spare pass for any teammate and, and using it so well he's got that wonderful turn and that kind of un, that kind of ungamely um, posture which helps him kind of spider along the pitch. It's, He's a very impressive player with a good, good kind of football brain, a very intelligent player, but we weren't seeing it enough. Now this season, um, Kamara has introduced a consistency to his game, which he probably hasn't had his entire career, and he is now one of the first names on the team sheet. Um, it's unsurprising that the Finnish international has been linked to so many clubs. I think uh, anywhere north of 13, including the likes of Borussia Dortmund, Lille, and uh, several Premier 
Premier League clubs are said to have an eye on Kamara. Um, I think Brighton were one of them, Southampton were another. So um, this is a player with immense technical ability who seems destined um, to play at that level. He's obviously um, the heartbeat of a Finland side who've qualified for the first major tournament, largely down to the immense midfield work of Kamara. And um, it's quite incredible to think that this guy only cost us £50,000. Um, when you consider how much Rangers must value him at now. Uh, still in his mid-twenties and, and, and maybe not quite at the peak of his powers yet, but we're certainly beginning to see the best of him. Like Barisic, I think Kamara falls into the category of one of these players who we might look to sell um, at some point in the not-so-distant future in line with the business plan. And again, not that I want Kamara to leave, and not that Steven Gerrard does either. He's con uh, consistently repeated that he wants a player tied down to a new contract. Um, but he, he's an asset and, and he's um, getting better and better every time. So another player that I don't think has any chance of leaving in January. Um, but maybe we won't be able to hold on to him for too much longer if he continues um, to perform at the level that he's currently performing. Another player who has been linked with the Ibrox exit door this January is one who gets a bit of a, a kind of raw ride um, in his homeland and I'm talking about 22 year old Romanian midfielder Yanis Hadji. Now obviously Hadji is the son of Georgia Hadji, the ex-Barcelona Real Madrid Galatasaray midfielder who is Romania's all-time top goal scorer um, alongside Adrian Mutu. I think it's 35 goals. Um, that they've scored but because of this back in Romania Hadji gets um, such a kind of tough uh, press from their from their newspapers and he's been getting it a lot this season and alongside that there's been a lot of kind of unsettling links to the likes of Red Bull Leipzig, AC Milan, Sevilla but but the fact that he's getting linked to these big clubs shows the potential and ability that Hadji has and I think that a lot of the negative stuff that's been written about him in Romania isn't true, it isn't reflective of how uh, Rangers fans consider Hadji or how the club consider Hadji. I think that he's really um, impressive, assist record speaks for itself. Um, I think that he started the season on form, had a little dip and now he's back in the side and he's added goals to his game and I think he's really benefiting from being set. He, he clearly appreciates Rangers, Rangers clearly appreciate him and um, I think this is a guy that we can begin to get excited about. I think we're seeing the beginning of a Hadji developing at Rangers and, and taking that next step in his career and I think that he'll be a big player for us, not just this season um, but in the seasons to come. Um, I think that he's still a while away from being cashed in on um, but I think we've got a top top player here and, and I'm really excited to see what Hadji can bring. Um, he won't be leaving in January having just signed in the summer and uh, I don't think there's anywhere else Yanis Hadji would rather be um, than Rangers. The final name on the list, because what would a video about outgoings um, from Rangers be without a mention of Colombian firebrand Alfredo Morelos? Now, obviously Alfredo Morelos was the subject of a high profile £16 million bid from Lille in the summer, which Rangers rejected. Uh, I think they're said to be holding out for closer to £20 million for El Buffalo. Um, but um, that bid appeared to unsettle Morelos and, and it's had a kind of ripple effect on his season and we've seen in flashes in the first half of the campaign uh, the ability that this guy's got, I think away to Benfica was probably his best performance um, in the first half of the campaign but just as the season turns over into the second half we're seeing that cheeky smile more we're seeing a more settled Morelos, a happier Morelos um, who's focused on his football now I think that he's destined um, to move elsewhere, I think that he's got that in his head. Um, I think maybe if Rangers manage Champions League football next season, I think that may convince him to stay for at least another year, which is an exciting prospect, but he wants to play at the highest level. Um, I think that he's earned um, that right. Uh, I think we all know how good a player he can be, but for Morelos to earn that move, he needs to be consistent and he needs to produce it 
every week. He needs to be focused. He needs to be determined. And I don't want him to lose that aggression in his game. And I think there's always going to be an element of that. But I think what's most important is that he's committed, that he's determined, and that he's scoring goals. Um, I don't think there's any chance of him leaving in January, even if Leo are said still to be monitoring his situation. But it's one to watch for the summer. But it, 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 to me, I think what's most important is just Simon Ellis getting back to good form. And, and we've seen flashes of that. Obviously, his goal against St Mirren, he, he's, he gave Celtic defenders a kind of a torrid time. He got near beat on sent off, and then he scored a fantastic double against Aberdeen. So, yeah, I'm just excited to see the wee man play again, and, and, and it's brilliant to see him smiling. So, he will most likely, 99% most likely, still be at Rangers beyond January. And, and let's hope that he can recapture that form that made us fall in love with him in the second half of the season. Yeah, so if you liked it, uh, please click like on the video, please subscribe, please get in involved in the conversation, um, give us some feedback, uh, let, let me know how I'm doing, uh, let us know what you think of any of these players and how important they are, and yeah, um, we'll be back next week with another video, I think we've got some more stuff planned ahead of um, this week's games, and thank you so much for watching, and Mon the Teddy Bears. Oh!